Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today we're going back into the workshop to find the craziest, coolest, weirdest, or just anything that really stood out to me at all things on the workshop. So I got a whole variety of stuff lined up for you all today, starting with this amazing looking Gatling gun thing. So like any Gatling gun turret, uh, we do have full control over where we aim. But check this out. This thing has 12 cannons per arm. He did an amazing job at interlacing two different layers of cannons. So check out the amount of destructive capability this thing has. I can't, I can't even hear myself talk with this thing on. It's just, it's insanity. <laughs> there go all the signs. All right, but of course the question, shh, shh. Okay, but of course the question on everyone's mind I know is, can you blow yourself up with it? Well. It just so happens that you can. So this is the Cannon Gatling by Yilem. 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 Seeing this name reminds me of the sound that Yoshi makes when he eats things. So check this thing out in first person. Is this first person or is it? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, I aimed a little bit too low. Let's try this again. All right. There we go. It, it's virtually impossible to really aim this thing because, as you can see, your shots go literally everywhere. <laughs> uh oh, we broke the sound a little bit. Oh, what? What? I don't know how I just broke myself there, but okay. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna keep this thing spawned in because everything else I spawn in, I'm probably gonna wanna destroy with it. So moving on, we have a truck with a mini motorcycle on its back. And it says the motorcycle uses tank steering, what? This is by Luciano Lozic. Oh, oh, it's a trike. Okay, I think I can see how tank steering would work with a trike. Oh, and it's a little bit top heavy. This is a cool looking truck. I like the color scheme of it and the way it's built makes it look kind of like post-apocalyptic. Space? Oh, I think it was space instead. Okay, and then we can hop on the motorcycle and... Um... Um... I don't know how to get the motorcycle off. Come on, little guy. You can... You could, uh, I think we, oh, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Eh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, I'm just, I'm not doing, you know what, let's just destroy that version and we're gonna spawn in a new version and try again. Die, please, thank you, okay, it's gone, it is so gone. Okay, trying again, this time I am going to open up the back and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna press space. There we go, that actually kind of worked. <laughs> we can drive the motorcycle and this thing, the turning actually works surprisingly well. Yeah, so this is apparently tank steering on a trike. So I'm assuming that the back two wheels then are just affected with the left and right. This is a really interesting like idea to use for a trike, having tank steering like this. All right, well, I'm gonna go full speed into the pickup that actually was carrying this thing and see if we cause any damage. Nope. Beautiful. Up next by Mexoff, we're looking at the SCF Stronghold Castle Fortress Medieval theme. You don't see many non-vehicular builds in this game, so this one definitely caught my attention, especially the apparent size of it. It could be a lot smaller than it looks, I don't know. Oh, and this thing is going to be great for the cannon. Oh, I am looking forward to that. Oh, where am I? Where I, oh, I'm actually in one of the towers. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where's the front gate? Apparently there's a sensor controlled front gate. Oh, check this thing out. This is cool. Oh, I like, these look like banner flags. That's probably what they were supposed to be, but that that's a really clever idea. All right, we stand in front of the gate. It opens up. We go on in. Oh wait, I, I wish I could do first person. Is this? Oh, it is, it's a seat. I can't see myself. All right, you can kind of see I'm sitting in like a throne using the operator's seat inside there. Say hi, little trail maker. Okay, so we got some controls. I think I can control the door manually. Yep, and then what does T do? Oh, okay, that's what he meant. All right, so if we go into a tower, check this out. We go into a tower and then we jump and the door opens and closes so we can land on the tower. That is an awesome idea. And then we can even like walk along the catwalks and stuff here. This is really cool. Let's blow it up. All right, how long do you think it's gonna last? Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 it got hit into the air twice in a row. Okay, let's, 
do it again. All right, and it's gone. I love this Gatling gun. This Gatling gun is very fun. That rhymed. Okay, up next by Anonymous08, we have the Imperial Self-Propelled Gun. World War One Alternative History. All right, I honestly have no idea what to expect with this thing. I don't know if it rolls or if it's just ball shaped. So let's press some buttons and see what happens. Is this a walker? Oh my goodness, it's a walker. And it has skis for feet. <laughs> I thought it was gonna roll. Oh, that's interesting. That's how it turns. So it has a limited turning capacity because it uses the booster based thrusters which have to recharge. So that's kind of an interesting choice. All right, so what else do we got? We got space. All right, space is clearly to shoot. What does one do? Oh, one is to be taller. Two is to be shorter, I guess. And up and down arrow. Okay, that makes sense. That's the turret. And what is T? Oh, we got other guns. I didn't even see those. All right, and then this is our, whatever it was called, self-propelling turret World War One thing. Uh, and by the looks of it, I don't think, oh, oh, can we? Can we blow ourselves up? I don't think we're gonna be able to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 oh, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> like Thomas the Tank Engine, but. <laughs> Whoa! And remember, anything is possible if you just believe in yourself. All right, so let's uh, destroy this thing completely now. That didn't take a lot of time, did it? Okay, up next, this one I'm really curious about. This is called the Transforming Hovercraft Car by the Sands Brothers. So I don't know what this thing transforms into or from. It looks like maybe it's a car that transforms into a hovercraft by turning those hover pads down. Yeah, all right, so this is definitely a car to start off with. Okay. It's a decent car on its own. Looks really cool. Ooh, 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 face. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. I got to admit that was a lot more transforming than I ex I thought it was going to. I thought the, the, the hover pads were just going to flip 180 degrees, but that is a legitimate transformation. All right, so if we do this and then we use our booster, then... Wait, why doesn't it... Oh, the front of it still drags against the ground for some reason. Something isn't quite working 100%. Oh, yeah, something's definitely not working 100%. All right, let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Now we're hovering. Oh, it worked that time. Okay, so now we should be able to press Q. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Maybe transforming while I'm moving isn't the best idea. So let's do it again. Oh. <laughs> well, it works in this direction. Oh, ow. Okay, repair, repair. Now, what if I try to transform back in the other direction again? Is this gonna work this time? No, you can see the uh, the front the front hover panels. They don't line up perfectly straight if I'm moving while I transform. I love the way that this front looks even in the hover mode. This is a really cool front uh, like hood design of a vehicle. All right, so that is our transforming hover car. Let's go back into car mode and drive over and get ready to destroy this thing. All right, and goodbye. Oh, 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 oh. oh, and it's gone. All right, up next, we have an interesting multi-creation build. This is a four-in-one construction crew. This is by that Dom guy. Four individual vehicles to get the job done. So apparently it's got logs and walls to use with the construction vehicles. So let's see how difficult of a time it is for me to figure out how to use this. Okay, so I press U to detach all that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I don't think it quite worked as intended. I think those things are supposed to roll just a little bit more. Okay, so I have a lot of controls. Oh, look at this. All right, well, I'm gonna try to use my bulldozer to push this out of the way. Oh, okay. That kind of worked, actually. Okay, so I think the goal is to somehow get these logs onto that longer vehicle. We could use... This one would probably be easier, but let's just... I just want to see what this thing does. Uh-oh, uh oh uh... Two? There we go. All right, so now how does this thing work? Oh, okay. That's interesting. All right, let's see if I can actually pull this off. I'm gonna go over here, just try to get underneath it, and then I press the... Uh, I'll do this. 
And then like that. Look at that. Is this working? This is kind of cool. All right, let me leave that there for a second and get into this vehicle. All right, here we go. Oh, this one's cool. I love the trailer hinge aspect to it. Okay, so are there controls to this? I don't think there are any controls other than driving this thing. So let's put that there, get into this, and how do I lift this whole thing up? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, I don't know if this is the vehicle meant to be loading the trailer, to be honest. Why don't we leave that vehicle there for now, and let's go see what this one's all about. All right, we can activate our electricity. I don't really know the point of that. Space is to do this. These controls. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely the one meant to put the log inside the thing. Okay. All right, so let's see if I can actually grab this log out of this vehicle. Oh, boy, there we go. No, get, give me the give me the log. <laughs> I guess I'll let go. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Let go of that. There we go. And I think it'd probably be better to grab this from the side. There we go. Lift it up. Lift it up further. And the, oh, it is top heavy. Be very gentle. The motors have so much acceleration, it's hard to do fine movements. All right, and then let's put it down. And let go. Hey, look at that. And now we can drive this thing around. This is fast. Holy cow, this is fast. It does not have a lot of traction on dirt. This is not supposed to be an off-roading logging vehicle, which actually doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you think about it, since all logs should be off-road. Okay, you know what's really fun about this? Is we now have a whole assortment of vehicles to blow up with the Gatling gun. So let's see just how quickly this thing can destroy everything we see in front of us. Here we go. I see a wheel, four seats, and two logs have survived. We have more work to do. All right, we'll try this again. Oh, oh. Almost got taken out. Oh, 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 there's a little bit more of that log left. Hold on. Air, oh, what? I, I just keep blowing it up into the air. I'm not actually destroying it. Oh, I think it's gone now. Yeah, I think we finally blew it up. All right, back over here. We got one more log left. I think we got it. So which one of these creations was your favorite creation? Let me know down in the comments below. I might not be able to hear them, but I'll be able to read them. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more workshop episodes like this with other amazing creations, then you're definitely going to want to check out this playlist right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.